We might have just found the strongest evidence for life ever, but that's a big maybe. This is K218b, a planet around 124 light years away from Earth and about 2.6 times the size orbiting in the habitable zone of its solar system, the sweet spot between hot and cold where liquid water could exist, which already sounds kind of exciting. Scientists had already determined that K218b had an atmosphere made up of methane and CO2, but now astrophysicists at the University of Cambridge have found something else. Using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, researchers carried out a process called transit spectroscopy which genuinely always surprises me that it works as well as it actually does. When a planet transits in front of its star, starlight passes through the planet's atmosphere, where different chemicals absorb and remove different wavelengths of light before they reach our telescopes 120-ish years later. By comparing this filtered light to the normal spectrum of a star, we can identify which wavelengths have been removed, and that tells us what gases must be present in the planet's atmosphere, kind of like an atmospheric fingerprint. What researchers found was a gas called DMS, or dimethyl sulfide. The exciting part is that on Earth, Earth, DMS is only made by living organisms, mostly plankton in our oceans. But before we get our hopes up too high, there's a few things that could mean that this isn't our first meeting with gases emitted from ET. Firstly, getting a high accuracy on these signals is really hard. The atmosphere of an exoplanet is about the same thickness relative to the planet as the skin of an apple is relative to the whole apple. It's also 120 light years away, and we are detecting its passage across a star that is 40 times larger than it. At the moment, we're at three sigma of detection, which means we're confident to about 99.7%. But even if DMS is fully confirmed, the important part of the sentence was that DMS is a sign of life on Earth. In 2024, we found DMS on the comet 67P, which was obviously devoid of life and had been hurtling through the cold vacuum of space for a long time. Last year, scientists also showed that DMS can be produced by UV rays hitting exoplanets with thin atmospheres, which is why we don't find DMS abiotically produced on Earth because our atmosphere blocks UV. Now, this isn't to take away from the unbelievable levels of scientific achievement needed to push the boundaries of our understanding here, but we might just be being a bit too Earth-centric. Just because it smells like life doesn't mean anyone's home. If you like science and sometimes mistake space burps for intelligent life, follow for more.